Howdy folks, it's Saturday, it's uh, Home Improvement Day, <laughs> Coffee and Tools. You know. I gotta thank James, he scared me, but <clears throat> he sent this, uh, he sent this coffee over to us, so, and it's called uh, Kicking Horse Coffee. It already sounds, it already sounds like it's gonna be interesting. Can't wait to make some up, uh, just do a pot of it and just see how it all works out, but, uh, Oh yeah, it's, it smells like a, some pretty darn good coffee in there. And I gotta thank James, 454 horsepower. He said this stuff will really give you the caffeine buzz. So this afternoon I might be walking around here just, you know, looking for some more caffeine. But uh, James can't thank you enough. You didn't have to do it, but I, when you said coffee, I was ah, said, yeah, we will drink some coffee, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> okay, now, uh, home improvement, yeah. We, uh, I've got a problem with the lighting here that uh, is typical. We all have it. Uh, you come home at night, it's dark, there's no lights on around the house, and you're just, like stepping around furniture and stuff, trying to get through the porch, back porch, whatever. End up trip, fall, maybe break your leg, you know. So, uh, a friend of mine, Ella, sent this over. I actually got a couple of these. So, these are a nice looking unit. They're coach lamp, you know, kind of style. Got a lot of stylish look to them. In fact, these are even wood grain on the side here. Really thick, real heavy glass build. So the construction is really good, rated for exterior use. So around the porch, the garage, the hallway, whatever, you know, a couple of these will look really pretty. So we're going to install this, but uh, this one has features that it's, it's kind of got a little bit of a, you know, that AI, a little mind of its own. And it keeps the light at night really dim. And when it sees motion, something coming up, it turns the light to full brightness. And that's really cool. Also, that's good for security, too, if you think about it. Like, there's a lot of uh, situations at night where if a, a light comes on, uh, it might spook somebody away that you really didn't want on the property or something. Also, uh, during the daytime, it also has a day-type function. It shuts the light off, of course, in the daytime because it senses that it's daytime. And then, I don't know if it'll reduce your uh, porch pirate problem. It might bothered them a little bit to realize that a light has come on uh, if they're sneaking out in front of the house in the middle of the day. So yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's a bit of a security situation, but also it's just convenient, especially at night. Uh, I've got one fixture here at the back of the house that I don't like because the wall switch for it is inside the garage and I'm usually going into the house and there's like, there's no reason to turn that light on, but it would, nice, it would be nice to have so I can see where I'm going. So anyways, let's talk a little bit more about these. Uh, got a great price on them, and we've got a discount code. So Ella, thank you so much, and Sinton of USA sent these over. So let's put one up, and we'll take a look. And I'll tell you right now, I'm going to put an LED bulb in this. We'll see how that works, because a dimmable LED bulb is probably what you're going to have to look for. Uh, they're on the package, usually a rating or something, and it'll say dimmable. Also, uh, maximum old style or old school bulbs would be 60 watts. Anytime you have a fixture where heat can gather in the top, uh, you want to keep that at 60 watts or lower. And the reason for that is a 100 watt light bulb in a enclosed fixture, as they discovered back in the about 70s or something, they found out that it will reach a temperature inside the housing of over 451 degrees which means fire, which means, yeah, it'll you know burn your house down kind of thing. And so it became a fire hazard way back. And a lot of the manufacturers with ceiling lamps and things, all of a sudden they had to like drop the rating to 60 watt because it wasn't, 100 watts is just too, too hot. It's just too much heat. Now, in an LED bulb, it's a little bit different. The LED bulb, you've kind of got the equivalent of a 60 watt or something, but I would still stay in that range uh, with the LED bulb. Don't go out and buy, you know, an uh, LED bulb that's equivalent to a 200 watt. I would be concerned about the possibility of heat buildup because uh, it can be dangerous, obviously, to a home. So, let's put this in and we'll take the old one down, put this one up. Easy install too, by the way. Back here we've got a plate that's going to fit your octagon box and also, even though it does all this thinking and whatever, uh, it only has the black, the white wire, and the ground. Now, if you're scared of electricity a little bit or something, you know, get an electrician to put it in for you. Uh, or find a friend that's an electrician that can install one of these for you. And how you do that is you get 
really good pizza and some beer and call him over. After he eats the first slice of pizza, you say, oh, George, just a minute, let me show you what I'm working on. And in no time at all, you'll have the tools in his hands and he'll be showing you how to do it and it'll get done. Just for cost of pizza, right? Yeah. Anyways, let's do this one. And uh, we're gonna do this outside, so I apologize if there's any wind noise or disturbance. I'm gonna try to, you know, keep the microphone and everything going as best, best we can. Let's do it. Okay, is it on? Are we recording? Got good, good volume. All right. The uh, first thing we're going to be doing is taking the old fixture down. Well, power's off, and we're going to take the LED bulb out, which uh, right on the writing here, I believe it does say it's a dimmable uh, rated LED. So we're going to reuse this bulb, I believe. At least, well, we'll try it. Let's <laughs> see how that works. Okay, this one here, uh, I pulled out. It's a Craftsman 9 millimeter. Now we'll just see if that'll fit it or not. I think it will, but yep, yeah, it does. It fits the nuts for the fixture, so we'll get this out of here and have to do a little cleanup probably by the looks of it because this has been with the house since it was built probably 30 years ago. So we'll find out. You know, this is going to be really easy. Hmm. Okay, here it comes. Yep. So we got that, and we got the wires here. So we're going to undo the wiring. It has the, yeah, oh, they made a huge hole here for the octagon box. <sighs> Something about Texas. I don't know. Clowns. And let's see. They twisted the, yep, and they just twisted the wire around to put the ground on because they didn't know how to do a proper job of it. But the whole thing has been done, yeah, wrong like everything else. So. This whole house has been nothing but uh, this kind of sh shady, you know, handyman looking work. So, the, um, yeah, the work here is, yeah, is like everything else around this house, just total. Every time you open something up around here, it's like a can of worms. <clears throat> and this is no different. This is so, yep, so wrong. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, wow. Hooked up, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so, let's see it works. Uh, the next step here, of course, we've got the plate now, and it's screwed now to the box. I've got my ground in properly, which they didn't have, which is another one of those things in Texas or something, I don't know. Uh, the wiring here, it's a little elongated, so, I'll probably make my connections, push my wiring back into the box, most of it, and then the, the, the softer wire that comes with the fixture will be inside the fixture kind of thing when all the connections are made. Uh, we actually got three connectors for the ground, the white, the black, so all good. You know, it comes from, like I said, uh, Sinotin out there in California sent these over, and they're just, they're just a straight wire in, even though they're very sophisticated and they think for themselves, but they just go straight in. So. Let's get our fixture, and let's get our wires attached, and mount this guy. Oh yeah. Yeah, anytime you're uh, changing a fixture like this, it's a really good idea to uh, understand that you're going to have to hold it up here and hang it while you get these wires connected. And you have to sort of make a plan. So what I'm going to do is bring the ladder over here so that the fixture actually can sit on the ladder while I wire things up. It just, just makes life a whole lot easier. Okay, we're back. And a power gun here. I don't think we need the gun anymore, do we? I guess we don't really need it anymore. But now you can see all the wiring is right here in my face. The fixture is hopefully yeah, sitting on the ladder, so it's not going anywhere right now. And first thing I'm going to do is get this ground wire hooked up properly. And like I said, if you're if you're nervous about electrical wiring or you're not sure about the power of the switch or something like that. I would definitely recommend get somebody else to do it. Don't don't try and tackle it because electricity is one of those things that can hurt you pretty bad. <laughs> and there we go. There. There's the other one. Now all I got to do is find the little screws that come with this <laughs> to, to put it back on with. You kind of like to fold them up just nice and neat, so there's no problem with that. Okay. And I'm I'm back. Okay. The fixture comes with a little seal, little rubber seal washers, 
you're going to want those on there. That's going to help keep weather and water and whatever out of the uh, fixture itself. And position everything nice. Now, last thing we need is a bulb. And the ladder out of the way. And basically, that, basically, that's a done deal. Okay. Now, now I'm going to put the bulb in first. And that way we can, uh, everything will be ready to go. Yep. There we go. Now I'm going to turn the power on. Now when I turn the power on for the first time, the light should come on. Yep. Okay, and there it is. The light is on. Now we're going to do the waiting game here. And uh, it should take uh, about oh, a few seconds. And then it should go to what they call the... Uh, Ah, there you go. There's the dim. Wow, it, it did dim. Okay, so it did go to a dim mode. And because it's daytime, uh, theoretically, well, you could shut the fixture off, but you can have that now. I'm going to move. There you go. Do you see that? And there's a little red light that flashes right up here. And that indicates that it's seeing something. Again, that will help spook uh, for security. That'll, that'll spook some people away. So this is actually, this fixture sort of has a, a dual purpose in mind, I guess. Um, now, Let's uh, wait it out and see if the it's daytime. So it actually, it's actually kind of dark in here. So uh, it might actually think it's nighttime in here. I'm gonna pull the ladder away. What a beautiful fixture. Well, there you go. I'm standing in the doorway here, trying to stay out of the away from the sensor so that the fixture doesn't pick me up. But uh, in the daytime, it's gonna shut off like that. In the nighttime, it'll go to the dim mode, and supposedly it'll stay in that dim mode, I guess, during the night, from what I understand from the instructions that they said. Okay, so the fixture's off right now, the power is on, and now I'm gonna do a little dance thing here and see if we can trip the motion detection, which is, as you can see, is, yep, not working. Yeah, cool. Well, it is daytime. Uh, just see if we can't fake nighttime somehow. Maybe I can't. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now it's nighttime. At least it thinks it is. And then, of course, so it goes to full brightness. There we go. Yeah, it's on full brightness. So, excuse me. Yeah. So in the daytime, in auto mode, it will completely shut off. And even if it sees motion, apparently, in daylight, it will stay off. I didn't know that. Uh, that's not exactly the way I understood the instructions, but the instructions were not like all instructions. Uh, they're never very clear, and so apparently that's the situation, which is still fine. For my application, all I want is I want this thing to come on. When I come in the back area of the house here, I want this to come on automatically so that I can see it. I don't have to trip over furniture and uh, get hurt. <laughs> okay, so let's wrap this up, huh? Yeah. We're back in the shop, I think. <laughs> We're back in the shop, and that one it was the, came in this box right here. So that's installed now, and it just so happens I have another one. So I guess what I'll tell you, you guys know, but between you and me, uh, next Thursday, let's give this one away to a viewer, okay? <laughs> And we'll, we'll get into that next Thursday, so that's something to look forward to. This week we're doing the uh, Saker, uh, sort of a protractor type device for uh, miter saws and stuff. So we'll get that set aside on Thursday, and then coming up on Thursday, the new tool, in this case, will be product for home improvement. Mm -hmm. And it'll be this puppy right here. Oh, yes. So, guys, thank you for uh, tuning into Coffee and Tools. This was Home Improvement's uh, Saturday weekend thing going on here. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, please like, share, and subscribe. And that was a Home Improvement episode. Uh, Monday, we'll have a new hack. Yay. Something, something new crazy going on. And we'll have some uh, interesting tools and more fun projects going on around here. Definitely, uh, definitely pizza and beer weekend, I think. And we are definitely, we, I got to try this coffee, James. Thank you so much again. I can't wait to, I can't wait to get into some coffee. I'll be, yes, I will be buzzed. And uh, meantime, hey, over and out.